In previous tutorials, we deployed a video using Swift Object and JW Player and added some non video content to that web page. Now we're going to configure and customize the player, primarily using flash bars, but also using a custom skin. So here's our project. We actually already used some flash bars in it, but we're going to add a couple of other flash bars. And specifically, we're going to add this flashbars.autostart equals true. I'll just control C that. First, let's test this in its current state. So here we have a play button, and I have to click that play button in order to start the video. And by the way, when I do this, watch for a very quick little buffering icon there. Did you see that? It's kind of circular there. So in that position, both the play button and the buffering icon appear. So now I'm going to add auto start and let's test that. And it just starts playing. There's no play button there. Now if I pause this, the play button will appear. But initially, no play button, the video just starts to play. Now let's look at icons. I'll control C that and copy that in and test. Now when I pause, no icon appears there. So there will be no play button there and also no buffering icon. And that's flashbears.icons. Now, let's take another look at this. We have a full screen button here. Let's try clicking that. It gives an error, not the behavior that we want. So let's get out of that. And first, let's see about curing that error. I can do that using this parameter, params allow full screen, by setting that to true. So I'm going to do that below the params here. So now allow full screen equals true. Let's test that. And it does go full screen. And I'll hit escape to get out of that. So if the behavior that we want is to have the full screen button and have it work, allow full screen equals true does that. But let's try allow full screen equals false. And test. We still have the full screen button, but it gives us this error. Not really the behavior that we want. So Allow full screen equals false is basically the same as not having that parameter there at all. What if we don't want the full screen button there and also of course wouldn't want it to be enabled? Right now it appears there's no way to do that with flash bars or params and so on. The only way to do that in version 4.2 is to use a custom skin. And by the way there used to be a flash bars for that use full screen equals false, used to both hide the full screen button and disable it. Maybe that will come back in a future version. However, for right now, we're going to look at this skin flash bars. The creator of the JW player has also created a skin which does not have a full screen button on it. So let's just control C that. Bring that in here. And by the way, for this to work, that simple.swift, which is the skin, has to be in that same directory as our player and our FLV and so on. And by the way, this is the file included with that on implementing skins, if you want to get into that. And you can get that right here. Longtail video add-on skins 51 simple. 
So this is where you can download that skin as well as the README file explaining how to create skins and so on. So here we have that skin implemented. And let's test. No full screen button and nothing happening in that area of the world. In addition, let me show you the page for finding out about all the flash bars. This is it right here at developer.longtailvideo.com. You can read all about the different flash bars here and experiment with them. And that concludes this tutorial on configuring and customizing a player using flash bars.